What makes the world go round? Why, human interaction, of course. Communication touches every aspect of your life. To be able to express yourself effectively is a basic requirement in modern society. The world turns on communication. In this video, you'll learn about how people communicate by having a basic understanding of what communication looks like. Those who successfully complete the module that this video accompanies We'll be able to differentiate the three models of communication. But first, let's define communication. Human communication is the process of making sense out of the world and sharing that sense with others by creating meaning through verbal and nonverbal messages. In other words, we use verbal communication, or our words, and nonverbal communication, like eye contact, body language, and facial expressions to make sense of the world and share our understanding with others. Now that we know what communication is, let's see what communication looks like. There are three models of communication that demonstrate how people interact in conversation. Communication as action, communication as interaction, and communication as transaction. In all three models, there are two communicators, the sender and the receiver. The sender encodes by translating thoughts into messages. This is typically the person who speaks. The receiver decodes by interpreting the messages. Messages can be verbal, like saying the words, I love you, or nonverbal, such as giving someone a hug. The sender sends a message to the receiver via a channel, which is the way the message was sent. This could be by phone, email, text, IM, face-to-face, -face, and many others. While this is happening, a cell phone might be ringing, or one of the communicators is thinking about something else. This is referred to as noise. Noise is anything that interferes with the sending of a message. The first communication model is communication as action. This is linear or one-way communication. This can be seen as message transfer. The sender sends a message to the receiver via a channel and there may be noise, but the communication stops there. This is like sending an email but never getting a response. The second communication model is communication as interaction. This is turn-taking communication or message exchange. The sender sends a message to the receiver via a channel. Again, there is noise. The difference here is that the receiver sends feedback to the sender after receiving the message. Feedback is simply the response to the original message. Here, messages and feedback are being sent like they would be through IM, one at a time. The last model is communication as transaction. This is simultaneous communication or message creation. Here, both communicators are sending messages at the same time. That is the main difference between this one and the other two models. As always, there is noise. This model also adds the component of context, which is the physical, historical, or psychological environment. The other two models don't have this context component. For example, your boss sends a message telling you to go get her a coffee, and although you do not verbally respond, you are communicating with her when you roll your eyes at her while she's speaking. Time for a learning checkpoint. While the professor is lecturing, the students have direct eye contact and nod their heads. The eye contact and head nods are an example of A, noise, B, context, C, feedback, D, receiver. The correct answer is C, feedback. The eye contact and head nods are an example of nonverbal feedback. Again, while the professor is lecturing, the students have direct eye contact and nod their heads. What communication model is this an example of? A, communication as action. B, communication as interaction. C, communication as transaction. Or D, all of the above. The correct answer is D, communication as transaction. 
The students are communicating non-verbally while the professor is communicating verbally. This simultaneous communication only occurs in the communication as transaction model. Now that you know what communication looks like and the different components that could make it a negative interaction, next time you have a misunderstanding with anyone, you'll be able to identify what went wrong. Use this information and go. Be a competent and effective communicator.